Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you all have been enjoying your day thus far. Well, the One UI interface and Tizen update started rolling out to all S3, Gear Sport, and Galaxy Watch users, and there's already been a bug detected that affects watch faces, whereby a certain shortcut link is broken. Now, to be fair, this new bug is fairly minimal, but then again, it's only been 48 hours since I did the update, and this is the first issue that was brought to my attention actually by a developer, so I wanted you all to be aware of it as well. Now, the issue is in regards to launching your calories app. If you have a watch face that displays your calories, and the developer has also created a shortcut to open the related app, then it may not work. And I say may in quotation marks here, because it depends on the link the developer used when creating the watch face. So for example, if the watch face was designed in the GearWatch Designer, which by the way, the majority of the faces in the App Store are, and the shortcut link has been set to open your Calories app directly, as opposed to your S Health app, then this functionality will not currently work in the new One UI interface. If, however, the link was set to open your S Health app, whereby you can see a number of measurements, including your calories, then the link will work. Again, this bug is affecting the launching of the Calories app specifically. Now, I've tested this on a few faces as well as searched online, and it appears that Samsung is aware of this issue, but how and when this will be fixed remains to be seen, particularly since they're right in the middle of rolling out this new update worldwide. I'm guessing that they will probably want to complete this process first before sending out additional patches. Now, interestingly enough, this appears to be just affecting watch faces made with GearWatch Designer. If a face was created in Tizen Studio, such as the one from Samsung, then the link to the Calories app remains intact. However, like I said, the vast majority of faces are designed using GearWatch Designer software, so you will have a greater probability of seeing this issue just because of the sheer volume of faces created on this platform. So if you are a developer and you've used the direct link to the Calories app, then you may want to test this on your updated device. And if you notice the link is broken, then you can always go back into the GearWatch Designer software and switch the shortcut for the Calories app to the S Health one. That way users will still have access to the information and can click on the direct Calories app directly from there. Anyways, I just wanted to mention this issue to any of you that are health conscious and you're diligently counting your calories because this feature may not be available to you anymore once you update. I'm going to keep you guys posted if I discover any additional bugs and I'll also provide you with my feedback on whether the new Tizen update had any effect on battery performance. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode and as always, until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends, because with your support, it helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care.